Welcome to the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. I'm Laura Lynn. We are working on this quilt project that I put together last year with uh, the beginning help of Lois. She came all the way from Florida and helped me put it together. And then I continued on beyond the pattern with some white fabric and some grays uh, that I had left over and the colors that I had left over and built out a few more borders plus a nice big black one to end it all off to give it a nice big frame. So I wanted to make this so it would fit a king size bed. So it's about 114 by 114 it literally takes up almost the whole uh what walt can take on he's about a, probably about six or eight inches to spare <laughs> so that's good you won't be able to see all of it here there will be a big picture if you just look to the somewhere around here there'll be a nice big picture of what this looks like we put it out on the lawn and i absolutely love it and i'm very happy to get it started so we have some very fun backing on here it's got some dots it's really cute we'll see it all when it ends but uh slowly but surely we're going to just kind of customize this and have some fun with it. I don't want to be too serious about it. It's just for Pop and I. I had a lot of fun putting it together and I just tried to make that kit stretch as far as I could make it to make it as big as possible as well as adding in some of my own fabrics to uh, um, collaborate with them. Okay so let's just start over here because it's big and I'm using just a uh, nickel gray thread I like that the most the way I was uh, putting some colors up against each other and I couldn't really decide so I thought you know what just this nickel gray would be fine it's uh, off the belts and it's 12 stitches per inch. And in this little rainbow scrappy, very scrappy, I, didn't, I did not measure the pieces or well, besides the width, I think it was three or three and a half and uh, just chopped up all the colors and put them all together. Okay. So I'm just gonna have a little fun with this one. You can see here, there'll be a little bit of footage after uh, we do the section here about the, the little stitch out on the border there. But I'm just gonna come down, do a little loop and come to that corner. And then from that corner up there, do a little loop to that corner and then loop. Just having, uh, having fun, having fun. This is for Pop and I, and I really want us to enjoy it. And I don't want it to be over quilted. Some loops are going to be bigger than others. Some are going to go in other directions. I don't care. And I just want to kind of make them so it's about as even in the middle of the block as possible. And I just thought I'd add some fun because the blocks are different shapes, right? You know, and I'm trying to get to the corner as close as possible. Sometimes you're gonna you're gonna make it, and sometimes you're gonna break it, and that's okay. Let's have some fun. And I put a nice light poly batting in here. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it for a second. Put my needle down. Shift. There's a lot kind of flopped here, so until I can get a roll on, I don't really want anything. Um, getting caught okay so I'm just going to move over straighten my fabric out and continue and I'm just loving all these colors and it's so nice to see it again because you finished it off on a couple of live streams and it is it's just so beautiful it was one of the very first quilt kits that I ever purchased. And Pop says, oh, I like that. Oh, all right, I'm gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna do it special for us. as a little celebratory celebration. Of course, it was for our, pretty much our birthdays last year. Deep breath, relaxed shoulders. Fun with the freedom of moving either your fabric under the needle or the needle over the fabric. 
All right, I'm just gonna stop and put my needle down and adjust. Okay. And just work my way to the end. I haven't quite decided what I wanted to do in the white yet, uh, but for the uh, squares, I thought of just uh, almost coming down half in the halves of them, and that would almost split the colors, but I don't know. I was kind of thinking about that. We'll see. We'll see. Well, we'll film it as we're going. I know, I know it's going to take a while because I've got other projects to do, so I know I can take this off the long arm, load up another project with my leaders, and then just work on that until I get a chance to load this one again and work on it. So when we do film it, and when we do work on it, I promise to film it, and uh, we'll share the whole frequency rainbow adventure. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay. I'll be sure to put a couple of the pictures at the very end so you can really take a good detailed look of how I uh, really bulked out this quilt kit. Just put some locking stitches right up here. No worries. And then I will put the heart, once I get um, to the other side of the border part here, I'll put the hearts there and then I'll take it and I'll flip it. I'll unpin it and I'll flip it on the long arm and have the sides that are now the sides will be the top and the bottom. And I'll put that uh, continuous little looped heart uh, there as well. I like that, that's cute, that's cute. We just want a little bit of texture. I don't want to quilt it to death. I just want a little bit of texture. I like fluffiness and, and lovely comfiness when it comes to a quilt. I don't, I don't want to wear it like it's a, it's a wall ornament or anything like that. So I want to thank everybody who joined us on this beautiful adventure, uh, putting this together. And I hope it gives you uh, hope and inspiration about busting your own stash. Or even if you have a quilt kit and you want to think, well, maybe I can make this bigger. Yes, you can. Just think of the fabric you have left over. Maybe you might, if you think about it ahead of time, you may be able to switch some fabrics that are in the kit with some stash that you already have that will take it bigger and make it bigger if you need to, like borders and, and little blocks of, you know, four patches and strips and so on and so forth. So it was a very fun project to put together. I was very thankful for the help because <laughs> uh, that was some serious corners and angles that was going on on there and some and some really weird cuts when we, we had to start from the center out. So I'm glad Lois was here for the most complicated part, that's for sure, because I don't think I could have done it without her. So thank you again, Lois, for this. And um, you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you very soon. Okay, big hugs.